All right, everybody, welcome back to the Morpho Project. And uh, today, um, what I actually want to do, even though you know I'm a little bit tired here, is actually just fin uh, do for today. I'm gonna be doing this part, so I'm gonna make this big giant trunky part that's coming up to the skies, and then you know go up right there. The main issue here is that we're gonna figure out like where we're gonna do it or how we're gonna do it, but yeah, it should be fine probably anyway um no further ado um i'm gonna get started oh well let's get started let's put it that way so um what i actually did today was actually uh doing the daily walk again and then after that i actually uh also finished the editing of the first chapter so i'm probably gonna be record after this i'm probably gonna be recording the visual novel itself although i still need to create some tiny little props to get myself up and running so I'm gonna do that first so I'm gonna be drawing some props after this then also the um, wizard is finally done so that's good I'm gonna be showing you guys that well done I mean like you know the, the first drawing of many that needs to be done is done so it's good enough right now um so yeah, that also explains why I actually need to change the uh, brush again. Um, so where do I want this to be? I want this to be above all of this. So I want this to be above a lot of things actually. Well, I don't have to go above this. I actually need to go above this, right? No, not about that. I need it to be then above um, this one. Yes, above this one. So I can just put this there. We're going to put this into a group because that's what's going to happen today. And we're going to be sketching first the tree part that we want to draw. So what we want to draw here is just a big old fashioned big old-fashioned trunk that's coming come up so if we have this this is like you know very stationary very easy to understand so we want like this we want like so, such a tree part right here and we can also go for like things like this if we want to And then this needs to be going a little bit more sideways. So something like this could work. As you can see, I use the soft eraser as well in the other drawing. So therefore, you know, this drawing is not going to be done. So what we're going to do here is just sketching a bit little bits by little bits and seeing where we're really late. So now I'm going to be doing some... Well, it's not coloring, it's literally just figuring out some stuff here and there. Oh, that's perfect. I just want to see how this looks, so therefore I need to have a body. So I don't have to actually do anything else here. Oh, that looks lovely. Now we can see, like, is this what we want? Probably yes, this is actually what we want. And then we can actually add this into one part. After some time we can add this into one part and then we have this whole tree being filled in. So yeah. Um. Which one we don't need? Well, we do have this, so now we need to actually figure out what, like where do we need to put this. So if we place it right here, that will work. That way we have the tree going up. And also it has a tree that goes up like this. And that's actually a decent way to do it. I like it. I like it. Um, After that... We're going to be working towards fixing this bad boy. So what we're going to do first is we're going to be drawing here, this part right here. So we're going to do first, we're going to do this. 
and this and this and this and this and then we're gonna do then the other one all the way around oh boy all right i can do this um so first things first we need to get rid of the sketch we need to draw something better than a sketch so back to black and back to the pencil mode yes all right this is going to be a hard spot here actually need to zoom in a bit because of how this works so we have this part right here that needs to be drawn in so i'm going to be drawing it like this like this to be here Right. And also we want this to be like that and then go up. And this needs to be like this. Alright. Now this should work. Excellent. And my mission now is actually getting this up and running properly. Well, no further ado, let's get started on this then. Also, it's very nice to have tiny bits, uh, tiny strokes instead of bigger strokes because how how the whole tree thing works. I figured it out later on. Well, I figured it out yesterday that that is most likely the case why it did, didn't look like the original one thing. Also, we should always go for like a wavy or wavy uh, kind of a feeling. That way, you know, we create the effect of you know a tree. Which is true. And there you go. All right. Now we actually need to add some more stuff to it. So we want this tree to be precisely as I want it to be. Therefore, we should definitely add some detail towards the trunk itself. Of course, this tree is a little bit different than the other one because of the lack of issues and lack of detail in, inside of it, which can might cause a little bit of an issue. But it should not be that other case. I mean, if it was, I would have said so. So, there you go. Fix that bad boy up. Now that we've done that, we can now get to here. Oh, I'm doing a risky move. All right, well, fine, I guess. No hard feelings. Also, no harm is done. Oh, F we gamer. Nice to see you again. So you draw a lot, a lot of wa uh, wavy, and the lines to text, uh, the lines to texture the tree. Yes, the idea is that we're drawing these these lines, and if we then add the color to it properly, like like so, you can already see the effect it take, uh, the effect it creates on the tree itself. It creates that. Um, it creates that f it creates that feeling that you know um, you're trying to do something and then you know eventually you will get that it is all wavy length lengths. Not all of it. Not all of. Uh, they have, uh, 
yeah, that doesn't matter actually. And uh, not all of it can be, of course, you know, wavy, but it, it does it does create this bark effect to it, which is sometimes a problem when you don't want that. But if you if you want to create a tree, well, you're supposed to go for bark. Lots of trees have barks. If a tree doesn't have a bark, it's probably gonna be dead in like a year, because it creates a protective layer which. Uh, helps to absorb certain things that are in the environment, so like salt, uh, uh, CO2, I believe, as well. No, sulfur. There you go, sulfur. Sulfur and acid protects it also against that, which can be in the uh, which can be in the area. Uh, the main problem is that most trees are very allergic to it, and. Uh, <laughs> The most uh, best trees that are allergic to it are the Christmas trees. They are absolutely not liking sulfur in the in the water. It's like one of those things that you don't want to have. Like very, very lots of sulfur in the water can spell doom for trees, most likely. Well, it is normal that that spells doom, but those things are a little bit more. Oh no! Salt in the and there is there is uh, there is sulfur in the water, and then those trees are like. All right, I'm dead now. <laughs> so yeah, they are heavily allergic to it. They lose their uh, they lose their leaves thanks to it, and then eventually, because they lose their leaves, they well die because they cannot create any more oxygen for themselves, and cannot produce oxygen uh, to you know sustain itself in the environment. Ah, uh, I can't wait for the uh, I can't wait for tomorrow. Then I need to draw a new, and then I need to draw a new face. Well, I do need to draw a face, but I don't. I need to draw a new uh, emotion and see how that goes. And eventually, you know, I will get a good idea of what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna do it. Of course, you know, I'm trying to do my very best on making it not cartoonish looking, but <laughs> so far it is all it is as cartoonish as it can be. Jeez. But uh, yeah. I am. I have two styles. It's either gonna be semi hyper realistic or it's gonna be cartoonish as hell. And there is nothing wrong with cartoonish, really, but it is like, damn it, why do I always have to do this? Because um, I try to draw humans, all right? They, they're not the best. Uh, they're not the best things I can draw. It's like things that things that I can draw properly are like environments, atmosphere. Creatures, you know, those type, 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 types of things are like easy child play for me. But when it then comes to humans and their faces and their strange looking heads and hair, it's like, just give me something else and just, just that and that would work. But because I avoided it like 10 years, no, more, 15, 17 years, yeah, probably. I had to start with this. So this... Is my great guy with some two guns. Eh, uh, wait, hold on. Yeah. With two guns. I forgot that I need to draw the guns like this. Yeah, there you go. This guy has two guns with it. Like big giant soaker boker guns that are like, you know, with flamethrower effects on it. That was my kind of, you know, great, great, um,. The great, the great, the great drawing war, you know, I had like these kind of guys shooting people, pew pewing, and then, you know, I also had like robots shooting like droids, you know, pew pewing, it's uh, it's all, th that was my, that was my style back then when, you know, I was trying to do like, oh, I have humans, well, I use just stick figures for faces and everything else, so I went from the design from I went from the design from stick figure to human, which is... It's not a very good idea, because then, when you do that, things go a little bit I iffy, because uh, I was like, well, you know, not being able to draw per uh, proper human, so therefore I had to result into putting everything back into the oven, and uh, then, you know, cartoonish style came around, and that is like... Not the style I wanted. <laughs> it's the style I got. <laughs> it's not the style I wanted. It is not the style I choose. And I'm trying to improve upon it. It's, uh, well, not improving on the art style. I'm trying to improve upon my own. Uh, I'm trying to improve upon 
uh, reading things and draw, uh, waiting how to, looking at things, how to draw, and then see if I can implement it or fix fix it in a ways that are, that can help me be better at it. Right now, I still suck at here. Right now, I still suck at uh close to facial. Yeah, close to facial. And also, I'm I suck at drawing uh, the uh, how do you say that the 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 circle uh, the olive circles. It, it's like I need to draw this as a face, and that that just doesn't work. It's one of those things that you don't want to. Uh, it's one of those things that you don't or oh, well can't work around with. And the main issue with that is that my art style that I normally use didn't compensate for it. You know, it's it, it's one of those comp missing features that I missed. It's like uh, expertise that I was missing and therefore, you know, I lo uh, I kind of uh, I kind of didn't do it. So I'm still at the age of, you know, back then Instead of you know being already at the place where I needed to be, and those baby steps, they're hard. They're they're terribly hard. I I mean, if you if you have ever had something like that happening, you know when you're trying to do something and suddenly all of all of the things that you learned are like, ha, they're useless to me, and it's like, damn it, I need to start over again. So yeah, I need to do. Uh, I need to look for something like that, and I mean, I already did a lot of work on uh, getting from point A to point B right now, and I must say I'm already quite impressed on how far I am. Um, but it's not. It's not yet fully done. Or well, at least you know, fully properly done. Uh, let's see. Is this the way to do it? Probably it is, right? If I do it like this, then that would give away the tree hole. Oh boy. Uh, let's see, we need to have some more scars here and there. That's the main problem. I need some more scars in this part. So what I want to create here is like a uh, pulled, uh, pulled out thing, but I don't think it's going to work. So I'm going to be fixing that to... Um, I'm going to fix it like this. There you go. A little one. A little trunk. That's that's much better. Now you can just, you know, remove some bits here and there, and then that would fix the uh, tree itself. Oh, I can actually get this up and running properly. A little bit of variety inside of the tree is always important, especially when you're trying to do something like this. All right, good, 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 good. And now you can already see where this is going. You can see that the lines are there, you can see that the, the things are there, but it's still a little bit too bland most of the times. So what you need to do is actually figure out like things, uh, figure out the ways to do it, to strike, to strike the way you want it to do. Uh, I think this is this is good enough, right? Probably. Don't know for sure though. Don't know for sure, but it is at least one start. So we're gonna put this back in, and then we're gonna pick up the original color that we need, which is this, which is this brown. And now we're gonna fix this. So we're gonna put the big old jelly jelly coloring on it. And you can see how far we are now at this, and we you can also see where where we need to draw, and that we still need to fix some bits here and there, because they're not always done properly. Right, there it needs to be fixed, there it needs to be fixed, and this should be it. All right, 
And now we can start where I wanted to go, which is just around here. I should definitely remove the size a bit. Also, I should definitely remove the size of this. Too small. Yes. All right. Good. I like how this tablet is always so responsive. And also it feels like silk. So, which is nice. It's a good thing. Oh, looks like the bot is back again. Mr. Halfway McCroc with his vroom de bouche. Yeah. Go away. i like you to be reported. For unwanted span, and of course, you're a bot, so good day. Yeah, that's how it, how it is with learning. <laughs> yep. It takes some time, it takes some effort, it takes some will and sheer power, power and some luck. And then, you know, you eventually learn how to do stuff. I can tell you. I did pretty well, all right. I can show you the mean, the meaning of uh, of determination upon fixing stuff. I know that it is, it's not the fully final result I want, but it is pretty close, which is decent. So I'm just gonna leave it. I'm just gonna leave that thing there, and then I'm gonna be working on doing it again. But this time I'm gonna fix it by you know making sure that I have already the design that I want, and then you know go from there on. So. I will use that as a reference material so that I know where to go for and what I want with it. But yeah, I can. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. All right. And now we've done that. And we have removed the bot from the chat. It means that we can now look for something else. It's always nice to have new fans, you know, but. I'm not a very fan of bots, most likely. I think the tray, uh, tree looks uh, looks very good, right? Right now, yep. Oh, it is. And as you can see, it already feels like the tree, right? Look, if you can see the textures, it does feel like the tree. There are some parts where it's not fully perfect, but you know, in in uh, fully perfect, it doesn't have to be. Because this is the background, so it's gonna be blurred a little bit, and therefore, you know, it's supposed to be a little bit, uh, a little bit off, but it's not that off. It's it's decent. So what we're gonna do now is actually, um, is now actually select this and then go for the pencil, pencil, pencil. Right? I can go for pencil. Right? Oh yes, I can go for pencil. Pencil would fix this. As you can see, the more the more ticket aligns, the more harder it is for us to get everything up and running. So if we have this right now, which is true, we were doing it a little bit different than we did before, because this one is actually, um, this is different than the other tree, because this other tree is actually done by, uh, how do you say? The lines on this one is so much more bigger. Also, this uh, the lines are then here, so it's like draw one line there and then draw one line there. But then once you're done there, you need to draw again like this and then draw again like this and then follow it up. But also, it's not with this tool; it's actually with this tool, which creates a strange effect to it, honestly. So I'm just gonna keep with this one. And then once we're done with the uh, once we're done with this one, we're gonna, you know, create the original design again. So the next tree, we're gonna do the original design, and then we're gonna go back again to this design, and therefore we're gonna create multiple trees in one place, which creates variety in the forest, which is good. You know, you can have you you need variety in the forest, otherwise you're gonna get a really really bad forest. Um, if you don't have variety in the forest, like animals or creatures or plants. It, it, yeah, it, it gets really crowded really soon by the things that are very good at doing their and doing their job, which is breeding. So yeah, I'm I'm already very fine with all how this is all gonna go. It's just that you know we need to realize that we're now using also. Um, well, this does create the effect I want, but it's not good. It's not suited for this tree. Nope. 
it's not suited for S3. Because as you can see, we can now draw here and there, and we can draw it over there. And you can see how it is all going. So normally I would even draw even tinier, uh, smaller. So I would have drawn like this. This is actually the way of how to do it normally. Like, you know, you have these inconsistent uh, line strokes. The main, main downside is that that is not likely to happen when you have big chunky boys like these ones right here. These chunky boys are always there and they create some not very nice effects, which, you know, is a problem because of my neglect and neglection of the uh, uh, of the first tree I drew. Because I neglected the first tree I drew, I took the I took the art cell of the back part of it instead of the front part, which caused a lot of issues arriving and occurring uh, in a later state, which is in result this tree. Mm -hmm. I hope that is a little bit clear, but you you see where I am at it. Also, I'm going to show you the final result of the wizard, even though you know it might look a little bit strange, but uh, that's going to be also thing that I'm going to be doing after I'm done with this I'm bad boy. Because you know I'm going to be not uh, I want to I want to work on this drawing, but I have already seen that this is going to be a big th this part underneath me is going to be so big I'm not being going to be able to do it uh, today. Uh, tomorrow, yes, but not today because of how the uh, how that thing works. It's like a big thing, and I need to have my full focus on that, which I don't have because of well, I did a lot. <laughs> I finished the I finished I finished the editing on the novel. I finished the I finished the drawing of the uh, of the wizard again. Well, I finished again. I actually have been busy with it multiple times, but. You get the point. It's a, it's a, it's a tricky boy because it's too toony, and I need to find a way how to create a less toony. But therefore, I need art. Uh, I need therefore I need to adapt another art style, which I can't because I don't have that art style in me. The only art style that I have is actually you know hyper realistic or cartoony. So therefore, you know I'm stuck on cartoon. So therefore, I need to find a way to either make it perfect and therefore you know get it all right or get it right and then go from there on which is possible which is possible yes but it would be nice if i had been able to do the other one uh, all the way around like if i was able to draw anime it would have been so much more easier to draw that bloody damn whole mess of a, uh, of a visual novel but because i don't have that it's gonna be taking a while <laughs> Anyway, looks nice. I can do combine cartoon with semi realistic, which is true. I can do that. It's it's not done. It's not impossible. Nor is it, you know, I can combine both my art styles with each other, which I already did once. It's actually the uh, the Akatoba image, which is actually quite quite nice to know. Also, um, if you look at the drawing I'm doing right now you can see what I'm doing is just following the lines with the pencil cursor and trying to make these small to high brushes before this stream I saw you uh, on one of the videos that had like 300 views or something which was very nice before this stream huh really nice yeah um I think I think the both project actually has already 250 250 views I believe but it's nice to have a view uh, have a have a video with me in it that has 300 views that's not nice then that's also paying off hey trying to be more interactive with the community is actually a quite good idea and I really like to I really like to do things with the community honestly it's only the problem is the time zones. <laughs> It's like, oh, everybody is going to bed while I'm awake. Oh, or everybody is gonna be awake when I'm uh, when I'm going to bed. How nice! <laughs> uh, it's such a such a fun thing to see happening. Oh man, I mean, I mean, all of this work. It's 
it's all just, you know, doing whatever I love to do. And that's just drawing, drawing, creating stuff, using my imagination to create it, or just playing video games that I just really enjoy playing. Most likely those are just the wacky bloody damn <laughs> games that are so random. It's, it's funny. Like, um... Uh, which one was it again? Oh yeah, Impossible Creatures or, you know, just playing Tam Tam is also very fun. Because I, I'm a very fan. I am, I was a very fan of Pokemon. Until, until they took something out of it that I didn't like. And I don't like that. What they, what they, what they did was a dick move. And, you know, it was a dick move that I would have seen coming from a mile away. But I was like, ooh. Jeez Louise, how 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 low have you fallen? And I was like, yeah, they pretty much have fallen low. And most of it has happened because and, and most most uh, most common things that are happening now is also, you know, a reaction on top on top of that. Which is a real shame, really. I wish I wish they had put some more love into the products that they produce because holy hell. If 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 it is one if it if it is one of the franchises that needs some love, it's supposed to be Pokemon. But no, they always went with shitty as crappy graphics. Which, you know, I understand that you could do it on the 3D uh, on the two, on the on the DSs. I, I I honestly understand that, you know, you had these crappy graphics, but on a Switch was like oof. It was like a pain in my heart to realize that, you know, the quality was so bad. It's, it's, oof. I was just very disappointed. And, you know, the, the new one that's coming out is also very disappointed in my eyes. They could have done so much more better. But no, they're just gonna go for B Team instead and just milk the franchise. Which is a sad, which is sad. Sad to see. But, you know, that's why I play Temtem. It's the same thing, but different. And also, it has some fun. It has also has some fun comedy in it, and I really appreciate how it works. Mm. There you go. That's more of the old style back. Of course, we cannot have too much of a doll back, but we can have some of it. As you can see, the strokes. As you can see the strokes here, that, that is actually what created the old style. So the more wicky wacky uh, lines we have, the more better the old style comes to life. Which is a nice thing, you know, it's a nice thing to see. And a nice thing to know, because, you know, it's always nice to see that, you know, the old style is still there. But, you know, it's a little bit gruffed and shamed. But, eh, it's a little bit shy. That's why I'm always using the. That's why I'm using the self brush, and I'm using the self brush in such a quick succession that it just like goes like that. Uh, Pokemon is a nice game for what I have seen, but <laughs> that was from quite years ago. Yeah, see, there you go. Quite years ago. Well, that is the good part. Pokemon is always lovely when you play it in like when you play it on the Nintendo, uh, when you play it on the uh, DS, on the Game Boy, then there, it was, it was such a pretty game with the 2D, gr with the 2D graphics on it, and then Im implementing the 3D graphics with the 2D uh, uh, sprite art, and then they all just took it away, and I was like, why? It was so good. And then they were saying like, no, 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 people like the Pokemon Stadium more. You know, the 3D aspect of fighting, and I was like, I guess you're right, but then they didn't went the way I thought they would go, and that was the main problem. I thought they were going like the way that uh, the Switch game was working. Uh, I don't know what it was, Colosseum, I believe it was Colosseum, probably. But um, but yeah, they kind of they kind of ruined the whole aspect of it. They 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 went like this shitty 2D graphics. Which were like very bad, and um, well, the well, the 3D graphics were very bad, not 2D. The 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 3D graphics were very bad. It it felt it felt empty. It felt really empty to the uh, 
to the idea of of being like, oh, this is a new, brand new Pokemon game, and I was like, uh, not really. It's the same game yet different. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I kind of uh, I kind of came to that solution quite quickly once I saw the trailers and saw the gameplay of it. it was like, man, you paid sixty bucks for that? That's uh, not very much. That's not very much for sixty bucks. And then they went with the uh, lovely uh, run-of-the-mill thumb parts, which is uh, creating the... Uh, oh, did I use too much light on it? No, no, not really. I can use this bark look on it. I'm doing this gently, by the way. So there, is no, there is no need for rushing here. I saw that this is actually a thing. Fixing that bad boy up. Hey, there you go. So, as you can see now, the big tree is back online. Oh, yeah, look at that. That tree looks sweet. Damn, boy. So, yeah, that looks like a lovely tree, don't you think? Ah, oh, it, 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 it's, it delights me to see that. How, how much, how much time have we left? Oh, we have almost 40 minutes in and, uh, and we got this result. That's actually quite, quite on time. All those little light lines on the tree aren't really noticeable until you get the bigger amount of them and start coming together. Yes, exactly. And that's the whole that's the whole fun part of it. When once you once you put the li when you once you put the lining in the bark, it it shows. All right, it it comes it comes forth and then drives upon the world. You know, it it's such a delight to see, especially if you look at like now it's like. Oh, this actually looks sweet. And then you can also see, like, ah, well, is this all you need to do? Well, it's, you could do it even better by, you know, putting a little bit more lighter on it. So if you're going to go for a little bit more lighter and then put this down a little bit, and then you, you just mark some of the... Uh, oh, uh, no, not like that, not like that. And then put this like this, and then put this like 50%. I believe that's the way to do it, yeah. So we can now put the light on the light. So therefore, you know, have this little effect, this little bit of, you know, eye-catching, which, which is nice, which is always nice to see. And then now we have this big giant trunk of a tree. And if we now add the filter to it, which... We should definitely add a filter to it. And we put the blur filter on it. It's like, oh my god, it's just a blur. Yes, I know, but now the, now the fun part begins. So, how to create bloom. It's very easy. It's very easy step. First, you need an eraser. You need to go to, like, put it on 65, maybe. And then slowly recover the tree. Until you find yourself in a piece and think, like, ah, oh, well, this is the tree I'm looking for. So I'm going to go for this kind of tree. Now look how nice and gentle the whole effect looks like. You you can see that the tree is there yet, but it also has some bloom in it, which is nice. You know, it's it, it creates this kind of effect, you know, when you're looking through a sun a sunny forest, you have this nice bloom effect in the tree in the tree tops. It's a it's always gives an it always gives a good way around. And of course, you know we have not have these blue. Uh, we have not yet used the bl uh, the bloom on these ones because we have put them off. But that's because of how I like to work. But yeah, we can do this like this. And now look at it. Now look at it. The whole damn thing. It's it's nice to see like you know little bits moving forward, little bits moving outwards, and it gives this feeling of you know connection towards the bark itself. And that is always nice to see. So now we have this kind of effect on the tree, and it might look it might look the same, but it is different. It's definitely different. It gives more it gives more cleanness to the to the uh, to the whole environment. And you can see that now it already gives the em em emotion of um, how do you say that? Yeah. Uh, hold on, 
Mama's call. Oh, Mama's saying something. That happens. Anyway, what was I? Oh uh, yeah, I was uh, busy with the doing the things. So, as you see, uh, everything is now connected properly, and we can now see how far we are now. Uh, we almost have the street fully done, so we only need to connect uh, this bit right here, this bit, this bit, this bit, this bit, and we need to connect all together in one in one uh, in one drawing. And then we can connect that uh, to one whole bit. So, um, to do that, I need... Uh, let's see, what do I need? I need then need to put this... In, need this to be put on front, right? And then I need to overlap that with the other one and then connect them. Yes, that's how I need to do it. It's like a puzzle that I need to connect. So... That's what I need to do tomorrow. Uh, to, uh, tomorrow, it's gonna be the big trunky boy right here. This trunky boy right here near the bird hat, we need a mall fox hat, and uh, that is gonna be a very difficult one to create because we need to connect all the t different pieces that we just created and put them into one big chunk, uh, chunky boy, which is normal, but it is a thing that we need to do. Um. Before I'm gonna be quitting this, I'm just wanted to show you what I mean with you know the progress makes perfect here. So right here we have different drawings. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go from point A to point B. That's that's the most easiest way to do it. So we have point A, we have point B, and then we have point C. D don't you worry, the curse, the cur the curse, the cursed images are not gonna be staying on long for this. Point B, point C. Yes, I want point C now. Yes, there you go. And now point uh, V, V4. That is going to be this one. And then we're going to go for point 5, which is this one. Yes. So, as you can see, the first, the first idea of the design was this. So just a guy just a uh, just a uh, wizard with a hat and uh, a mustache and a and a beard all right that was the idea then i started to design uh how do you say emotion yeah emotion in it well if i would call this emotion it's it's very bad but and then you know i put some more effort into it and i put some more effort into it you know you can see already the difference here you have this one or this one, it's uh, you can see that the uh, the head is more uh, the head is more pla placed correctly, and the hair is uh, fixed in the right place. And then you know I put it, I then I put it into more an idea. Of course, you know it's not fully properly because you know I have I am very bad at drawing. Um, I'm very bad at drawing the uh, the hair. It's not it's not my favorite kind of thing. But it does give it does give give me the idea of how to draw it, and I must say th that the wizard hat mm, looks great. The um, the facial uh, the facial uh, the facial thing of what uh, what needs to be representing of like oh shit moment, it works. It's like he did not expect this to happen, so therefore you know that's why he's sweating. But yeah. It's a, it's a nice little, it's a nice little thing. It's a nice little uh, idea. Also, I really like how I did this one. So I combined the coloring of the line art with non-coloring line art. So therefore, you know, giving some uh, things smoothness in it. It's a, it's a quite little experiment that actually went really well. And you know, tomorrow I'm gonna be trying to get another emotion in it, and then uh, getting another emotion, and see how that goes. So going from scrap again, try to draw it again, and then work on on top of that. Anyway, um, so yeah, um, thank you all for watching for today, and um, I hope you'll uh, I hope you'll uh, enjoy it. And I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, 
I want to wish you all a lovely day. And uh, bye. <laughs>